This playthrough is rated T for teen. Robbie the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny tentacle. Whenever anyone saw it, they would even say it drives them insane. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Cthulhu Saves Christmas. In the last episode, we traveled through the uh, sweet, sweet times of Ridgemont High, or I mean the sweet trees, and uh, we dealt with the the uh, the mice and the mice king there. But now we have the deal with the uh, the reindeer have been uh, uh, captured and uh, taken uh, out of the way, so we got to save them. But before that, let's. Uh, I went back to this old area just to show the party chat for this area because I forgot to show it earlier. So. New girl, I expect you to pull your weight around here. No slacking off in battles. You got it, boss. Be nice to the girl, Cthulhu. She's just a kid. Just a kid? I'll have you know that Cluck Cluck and I have been fighting monsters since we are both in diapers. They were low-level mice monsters, and Cluck Cluck mostly just ate them, but you have to start somewhere. Just point me to the bad guys, and I'll have some good. Aren't I the bad guy? The good guys, then. I get to Alright, well, anyway. Let's, uh... Quit, and go to the actual load so all right well, anyway yeah we're in the area where Robbie the reindeer told us to go to save his kin so we have to see where well what's going on here so it looks like we got quite a few places to explore it looks like all right got some new enemies here we got ourselves the Kraken well all right then I uh, see oh wait no it's a uh, waha waha ma okay I was looking at something else on the Kraken I was looking at a special item Anyway, Mwaha Ma it has 853 HP, weak to poison and stun. Try saying its name five times fast. Mwaha Ma, Mwaha Ma, Mwaha Ma, Mwaha Ma, Mwaha Ma, Mwaha Ma. Right? Nah, I guess I was saying Mwa after Wa instead Mwa Ma. Okay, you got me. And we got Burning Idol, which has 734 HP, weak to ice, poison, and. Uh, uh, not stun. What was the other one? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I've taken a break since then, so I forgot the stats. Uh, something. Anyway, enrage or whatever. Anyway, actually has a really chill personality. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Well, since they're both poison. All right. Uh, let's see. I already poisoned them, so no reason for that. So. Uh... Oh yeah, I gotta show off the insanity. I keep forgetting to do that. Just to show off the unique sprite anyway, so... Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'll just physically attack him. All right. Uh, let's see what else is around here. I'm just trying to decide which which way to go. Uh, let's go down back this way. We'll probably end up doing all the fights because you know me. I'm all about like fighting everyone as soon as I can. Anyway, we got Medic. Medic. Okay. Medic. Medic. Anyway, it's 554 HP. Weak to fire, poison, and uh, shattered defenses or whatever. Then we got Skinned Reindeer, Ugh. 1,566 HP, weak to Wind, uh, Dark, and uh, Charm. Uh, skin is optional, yes. All right, let's see. Well, I could do Dark, but I'll, do, I'll wait till next turn to uh, do that. Huh? Am I just, uh... No one, no one had poison as they're saying, did they? Oh, you did. Uh, yeah. That's what's, uh... Oh, did you not get the buff this time? Ah, oh, man. Alright, fine. Now, yeah, so I stun didn't work. Oh, well. Uh, so it's Sandy just gives them red eyes, huh? Okay, so Medik heals them, so. Who's next? Uh... Yeah, I 
really not good at that, uh... Yeah, I can't get I can't get stunned to work on him. Yeah, I just gotta keep healing them. Okay, let's just bash him. At this point, I just start spamming attacks. All right, let's see what's over. Oh, did I do the party talk for this area? No, I don't think I have. Hold on for dear life. The monsters here must be strong to defeat Santa's elite team of reindeers. So Dish Girl, who's the most powerful reindeer? That's a tough one. Comet can summon meteors, but he's kind of a one-trick pony. And probably a glass cannon. Dancer has got the moves, but has never been the same since leg surgery. Dasher is fast, but doesn't have enough stamina to last the dur duration. Oh god, the puns. Ah! Vixen talks the talk, but it's just a bit of a grinch. Dunder is strong, but dumb. Baby Cupid? That's a good choice. Strong, plus she could always just charm the enemy into fighting on her side. Uh, okay. I don't know if I want to get charmed by a deer. Doe a deer. Oh, there's nothing this way. Never mind then. Alright, got another new enemy. Uh, Pen... Penangalan? It's based off the Japanese um, type of vampire, which is the head and intestines. A disemboweled head. How lovely. Anyway, they're weak to physical attacks and disarm. So, all right. Do we have a disarm right now? Uh, oh, yeah. All right, what's the physical? Yeah, I don't really have anything major really physical. I wonder if everyone's gonna we can be affected by stun. All right, well at least we got something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get some insanity going on. Let's see what they look like. <laughs> get the whole. Get the whole. Uh, uh, tongue out and everything like that. Yeah, so far most of these enemies just aren't really that much of a deal. Uh, yeah. Usually the chicken does a decent amount of damage. There we go. All right, we're getting a little eighteen. Uh, Baba got. Uh, Toil and Trouble, double next ailment power. And nothing but belt, Snickle. Okay. Alright, let's go left then and see what's over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna fight the fights, so there's no reason. So, okay, so we got ourselves the combo uh, group going thing going on now, so looks like everyone's poisoned. Oh, yeah, I already hit that one thing with the. Uh, let's see. Let's hit you with the. Uh, let's say with the Medicaid with the. Uh, with that darkness ability just to see what they look like when they're insane. Uh. Okay, let's see what you look like when you're insane. Crazy eyes, crazy eyes. Oh, it died from the poison too. I don't think I've hit you with Sandy, but I'm not gonna have enough. Uh... Yeah, I haven't built up my chicken power, so it's obviously not gonna do a ton of damage. After a certain point, it's just easier just to spam attacks. Oh, you can't even go over there. Well, never mind then. Eesh. Have I here? Nothing? Nope. Okay, so I went around this whole area for no point. Great. I don't think I've uh, hit any of these guys with the... Uh, with the uh, madness yet or whatever, so...
Yeah, let's see what you look like. Unless I kill them. Never mind. <laughs> I killed them from the damage. But that's probably because I buffed it up, you know, so. Ooh, bam. Enough chicken power. Chicken power seems to be the really the strong one of the strongest abilities in the game because it can do a ton of damage if you build it up and do like that that combo ability. At least that's what it seems like to me anyway. All right, see, so I've hit you. So you're the one when I haven't hit with it yet because I hit skinny skin reindeer with it. So, there. Right. Oh, I didn't get poison this time. Now yeah, let's go ahead and hit you with the dark. Yeah, well, I love that each of the characters has their own unique madness skill. Yeah, hit Medicaid first just because it's keeps healing, so. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, I guess uh, poison would have been useful on one of these guys. So I know they weren't weak to poison, but I was like, eh, let's go ahead and hit them anyway. It's weird when these fights take longer than, uh, than like a couple of turns, like when I have to actually defend or whatever. I keep forgetting to show off my manliness just to, yeah, let's show it off. Yeah, it just gives us a ton of defense, but that's fine. Oh yeah, I guess uh, I forgot you can't, it, it's hard to hit people multiple times with stun. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to defend just because I'm running out of abilities. Oh, or not. Alright, I would hit level 19. Uh, let's see. Cthulhu gets a madness. Insane. Reset users insanity slots. Alright. Uh, Crystal and then Belsnickel got Naughty Strike. 100 to 200% physical damage. More damage if user HP is low. Gotcha. So it's one of those kind of like, uh, you know low Paper Mario builds, you know, for those who are familiar with that, that ability. Where in Paper Mario, you can basically beat the whole game if you left Mario's HP at 1 HP, but the danger is making sure you block all attacks. But you could use certain badges to make it to where it had to be a pretty extreme attack to do even any damage to you as long as you did the the button that, like, hit the uh, um, uh, block ability, so... Quit healing yourself. Oh, come on, man. There we go. At least that one usually guarantees to hit people. Um. Yeah, I'll just finish. I know the poison probably would finish them off eventually, but... so far. Yeah, like, like I said, a lot of these fights are pretty... Yeah, I haven't even taken any damage. Or hardly any damage, I mean. For the bells, for the one character, I want to have a... Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot I had to concern that thing insane. Get crazy eyes. Crazy, crazy eyes. Yeah, you need a much lower HP for that to even really work. There we go. Man, I haven't run any, tre any treasure chests. Okay, and we're almost done with the battles for this thing, so. Well, if I'd known I was going to waste so much time running around, I probably would have just gotten all the battles out of the way, like, immediately. So.
Uh, yeah, unfortunately, most of these fights are now kind of like, uh, kind of getting uh, samey after a bit. I was just trying to see if it worked. The stun ability. Oh, I actually had to heal. Wow. They're actually doing quite a bit of damage to me. Uh, I gave her the ailment power, but then I'm actually not going to do an ailment with her. Ha. Huh. Well then. Yeah, that didn't really work out like I wanted to, huh? Alright, well, never mind. Yeah, a lot of these guys do, like, quite a few multiple attacks. So, uh, let's try taunting. Or not. Okay, that didn't work out. Yeah, I need to get rid of one of these guys because they're doing too much damage to me. Uh, let's see. And I don't have that one ability anyway, so. At least I got rid of some guys. Let's get rid of you so I can actually, uh... Saying so that won't work. Well, the fact that the thing actually did uh, damage or actually uh, caused one of my characters to die, I guess I gotta give it, gotta give it credit there. I guess you do have to semi pay attention in the game. I was actually kind of just attacking stuff. I wasn't really paying attention. You got a shield breaker. This item can inflict the vulnerable on an enemy. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, didn't I get items last episode? Uh. If I did, I don't probably don't need most of it. So. Yeah, that one's best for her. I'm looking at pure stats, by the way, not. Yeah, I've got most of the best outfits for for them. Except for I wasn't. Yeah, I forgot to quit the egg. Oh, there we go. I knew I forgot to do something. I was wondering why I wasn't being as effective as I usually am. Might as well, well, we'll do. Wait, do I have a disarm? Yeah. Too. Keep making them insane. We'll we'll make them all insane.
Man, that poison does a lot of damage to that guy, that's for sure. I mean, yeah, I know he's weak to... But... <laughs> yeah, just, I don't know, just something funny about it. Do I even have any vulnerable... Uh, Almost got level 20. That yeah, Bell Snickle's too far behind. Come on, Bell Snickle. Why are you so slow? Alright, this should be a final battle, and we're probably almost on the boss, too. Whoa. It's a lot of wah ha ha was. Wah ha 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 There we go. Ah, uh, not a ton of poisons, unfortunately. Okay. I'll try resetting my abilities, too. Yeah, it's kind of remind me of a uh, what Sarlacc pits or whatever. Ah, man, didn't get any poison. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just do tentacles or something. Yeah, his HP isn't super low. Everyone keeps not hurting him. That's the problem. There you go. No more healing from me. From you, I mean. Yeah, these guys are doing a decent amount of damage. No reason. I mean, her, her physical HP just doesn't do it. Yeah, I just got physical attacker to death. All right, let's see. Oh, no one getting anything level 20. Hmm. How disappointing. No, oh, now I don't have to worry about uh about dealing with monsters now. I can just go grab the treasure however I want. Yeah, let's see what this is. You got a cult sword. This weapon's for Cthulhu. It gives him the Necronomicon buff at the start of battle. Let's take a look at it. Uh, better stats overall. Yeah, I haven't really been inflicting stun anyway, like as much as I'd want to. The sword of choice for cultists everywhere. Well, if it's the choice of if it's the if it's the uh, sword of champions, yeah, not Wheaties per se, but you know, does that just go around? Yeah, most of the dungeons here are pretty pretty straightforward. Oh well. What if I should go through before I fight the next boss? Make sure to go through my stat or my items or not my items, my uh, skills, just to make sure I've got uh, what I need. Like. Uh, the best skills and stuff like that. Got a broken pestle. This is for Baba and Bruiser vulnerable power. All right. Uh, it is better in some sense. I don't know. I kind of like having high chicken power because when I do that one ability, it does it does a ton of damage. Huh? Because it's not crazy better. I mean, she has better speed and healing. It's just she doesn't get the same power boost. Eh, I'll think about it. Like I said, kind of chicken powers are kind of thing, but then again, I haven't been getting a lot of abilities half the time that proves her chicken power, so it's like, yeah, I'm not really taking advantage of it that too, of it too often. Unfortunately, the only, then again, the chicken power, like when I use it, it's only for that one ability. You can only use it once per fight, so. Death Robe, this armor for Crystal gives her the unstoppable buff at the start of battle. Which that's always good. What is there? 
Okay, it doesn't really do anything it's super special. So you just lose out a bit of HP by equipping this, but it gives her more power. Oh, 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 more power. Don't die a gruesome death. All right. Yeah, might as well. All right, we got the boss of this area. So let's go and save it. Uh, let's see. All right. Okay, yeah, we did that already. Uh, let me look at my abilities really quick, see if there's... I might get rid of the tentacle for now, just because of, uh... Let's see, I could equip Plague, Poison, maybe Fireball. Let's see, Berserk, Madness. Uh... Maybe Berserk? Or Fireball, maybe. Let's try Fireball. Uh, crystal, let's see, chill, so I always want healing. Stunning isn't really going to help me that much during the fight anyway. At least during this fight. Maybe cleansing, maybe? Oh yeah, being able to cast an unstoppable buff would re re really help. Let's see, throw gift. But I haven't been using items very often, so... Let's right, see, uh... Chicken feed. And rotten egg. What are my other options with that? Break. Vulnerable, huh? Toil and trouble. Let's see. Doubles next ailment power. Hmm. Could use that and then use a uh, rotten egg on him. If that works on the boss. Yeah, let's try that. Alright, uh, let's see. Bear, bear, uh, snickle, yeah, healing. Protect is always good. Uh, earth damage. For a boss, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, maybe give him like a, an immediate buff at the beginning of the fight. Let's see, heal power for four turns. Hmm. Nice strike. I mean, he could have that just to see if his HP gets low enough to make that worth it. Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's give ourselves a buff. Yeah. All right. The locked up reindeer over there, along with Mary Lou. How do you like my handiwork, granddaughter of the jolly one? How could you? How could I? How could I? Year after year, the jolly one ignored me in favor of flying deer. How can I? I can fly. I could pull a sleigh. I could appear in Christmas cards and have festive songs written about me. Actually, you do have some songs about you. None that have gone platinum. I hate to interrupt this wine fest, but I'm on a tight schedule here. It's time for you to disappear. I would have thought a fellow undead would understand. No, I'm not undead. Really? I was positive. Probably thinking of Breath of Death uh, 7. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that game. Yeah, that's a game they made before uh, Cthulhu. Breath of Death, uh, you play as a skeleton as the main character. Uh, I forgot all the characters in it. It's like a skeleton. And it's it's a joke on uh, 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 Breath of Fire and uh, Dragon's Quest. Uh, it's also a fourth wall breaking uh, point and click, or point and click uh, um, uh, RPG maker type of game. I remember not being... Uh, uh, the Call of Cthulhu games are definitely more polished than Breath of Death, but it wasn't a bad game if I remember correctly. It got a little boring because the combat got pretty boring after a while because it was basic turn-based com RPG combat. So, But they got better over time. But yeah, I forgot about that game. Right, right, right. It's a common mistake. The undead heroes are in the other ga are in the other games. That was the only game that made of them. No joking. My other game and the undead game were easily bundled together, so it's an easy mistake to make. Oh yeah, usually you can't bind them together. My apologies. Think nothing of it. Now it's time for you to die. Well, die again. I'll make sure it takes this time. All right, for boss time against Mary Lou herself. We got 5,602 HP, weak to ice, uh, stone, or rock, or whatever, and rage, and a vulnerable stat. Watch out for its one-two hit. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do we want to start? Let's see. We got earth already, so. Uh, yeah, let's start with earth. Not a bad start. Let's see. Uh, 
Yeah, let's boost up uh, Cthulhu's. Well, do I want to boost up Cthulhu? Yeah, let's. Might as well give have her give some of the unstoppable buff. All right, what was your? Let's see. Oh, could do that. Let's see. Can I make you insane? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh wow! Actually, do I did I actually get the? Oh, I didn't get the ability that like I if I. Uh, let's go and protect. Uh, maybe me actually. Let's see now it's fire, wind, and rage, and vulnerable. Uh, not bad, I guess, in damage. Could have been better. Let's see. Yeah, I probably should heal her, maybe. Oops. Uh. Yeah, poison's helping out for sure. Man, that naughty ability really, really uh, beefed up my uh, damage for Cthulhu. Let's see, no one's. Hmm. Yeah, smack, I guess. Yeah, our damage doesn't do too much, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I guess physically attack, I guess. Uh, we're at 50 charge, huh? Yeah, let's do let's do a chick Cthulhu. Yeah, almost a thousand damage. I think I might defend with him, see if I can get that one ability. Yeah, physically hit you, sir. I still didn't get that one ability. Man, alright. Uh, yeah, let's buff up Cthulhu again. Let's see. No. Oh, he's almost dead. Never mind. Well, that was easy. Alright, anyone getting a level? Yep. Nice, everyone's sweaty too. So we got uh, Cthulhu gets bootleg, which is next item use is free. Nice. Uh, Gentle Rain from Crystal, 35% healing. Uh, Clockwork, 15% speed up for four turns. Not bad. And Tag, Taunt Up. All right. This cannot be. How could I have been defeated so easily? It happens to the best of villains. It's nothing to be ashamed about. It will take years for this land to regain its former beauty, but you can begin to atone by telling us where Santa is. I know not. The other four, I mean three members of the Chris Christmas League of Evil, keep his location a tight secret. Grandfather, I will rescue you no matter what the cost. Where can we find the next League member? Answer me. Oh, don't worry about that. I don't find you. <laughs> and with that, the Merry Lude vanishes. That was ominous. What next, boss? We should return back to town and prepare for the fights ahead, quickly before the locked up reindeer knows us to make us rescue them. Ahem. <laughs> Fine, you can let them go free. I can't believe your dark lord, who is me, is so malignant and benevolent. It's now Christmas the Eve, the 22nd. I haven't been able to find anything about the remaining League of Christmas Evil members. You worry too much. Take it easy. The Mari Lude said that you would, uh, it, that they would come to us. Relax. Relax? How can I possibly relax? Every day that we don't rescue Santa is another day that Christmas doesn't come. Is it really so bad for it to be perpetually Christmas Eve? All the anticipation and presence without the crushing disappointment. I'm with you, boss. I'll never get what I want for I never get what I want for Christmas. That's because you two are on the naughty list. Your experience isn't indicative of everyone else. You're telling me that Cook God doesn't deserve any presents? That can't be right. But Chicken presents aren't really under Santa's jurisdiction. 
he has claws in his name. Uh, as in a law clause, but anyway. I shouldn't need the chicken claws just to get some present for Cluck Cluck. Hey, you three, has this town always sounded this gloomy? Now that you mention it, the carolers do sound less lively than normal. Could it be important? Can carolers sense impending doom? Is that a power they have? Yes, carolers can sense impending doom, just like cows can tell the weather. Is she messing with them? Or maybe it's just not that carolers can, the carolers can sense doom so much as they're part of it. That theory is so ridiculous, it might be true. It's now Christmas Eve, the 23rd. Alright, now what abilities do we want? Let's see, we get a shield pestle, aqua cloak, uh, wand, or see, present wand, spiffy coat, warm soup, mega, sharp tentacle, bomb, play tunic, stone whip. Uh, let's try a cloak item. Uh, let's try aqua cloak, see what that is. Let's go to the beach. Every, every good RPG has a beach episode. Cthulhu decides to spend his day at the beach. What you gonna do? Uh, make a sand, sand castle, swim in the ocean, play volleyball. Let's make a sand castle. Cthulhu decides to build a sand castle. What starts as a simple structure made of sand quickly turns into a miniature representation of Berlay with all the horrors and tales. However, non Isludian space is still no match for the relentless waves of the harsh sea. The sand based model of Berlay crumbles into nothingness. The nothingness of the void. Surely nothingness is even more terrifying than something. No, it's really, it's really just a destroyed sandcastle. Sorry. Cthulhu decides to rebuild the destroyed structure further away from water. The next visitor to this beach is going to have their mind blown whether they see when they see this majesty of sand work. As night falls, Cthulhu returns home from his day at the beach. Cthulhu finds a package on his front door. The previous residents must have ordered something a long time ago and forgotten to change the address. Cthulhu got an aqua cloak. This accessory for a crystal boosts ice damage. It's now Christmas Eve the 24th. Alright, let's see. Um, I mean, I could start getting items now that I have that ability to get a free free item use uh, from uh, because of Cthulhu's ability. I do like getting just straight up uh, equipment better, though. Uh, let's get a spiffy cup for, uh, for uh, bear, uh, Snickle. Cthulhu decides to go to the gingerbread house candy shop. Inside the candy shop, there are countless shelves filled with chocolates and caramels, all formed in the most elaborate shapes. Crystal is already here. Why, it isn't Cthulhu. I didn't fancy you as someone with the sweet tooth. I've been known to eat the occasional caramel apple when suffering souls weren't available for munching. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. My favorite dessert here is the shaved ice with fruit and chocolate shavings. Delicious and refreshing. Crystal buys two bowls of the aforementioned dessert and hands one to Cthulhu. Bon appetit! Cthulhu cautiously tries the contents of his bowl, then with more energy, gulps the rest down. Good, isn't it? There's something about the way they prepare it here that really pulls out the flavors. And hey! Cthulhu grabs Crystal's bowl and devours the entire contents in one fell swoop. You were taking too long. I didn't think you wanted it. We just got them! At least you enjoyed them. They were okay, I guess. Urgh. A glitch in the game occurs and suddenly Cthulhu has a new piece of equipment. Cthulhu got a spiffy coat. This armor for Belsnickel taunts enemies into attacking him. That's kind of his build, it seems like. Build is to heal people, buff, and take taunts because one of his attacks is do a lot of damage if you're at low HP. So it's now Christmas Eve, the 25th. All right. Let's see what the... Let's uh, see, could get. Could get a new one. I'm trying to get something for everyone, really. Could see what the brown, brown egg does. Yeah, let's see. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Baba Yaga. Baba hands Cthulhu a flask of full, full of boiling red liquid. Shake this vigorously and don't spill any on your skin. Now that the, now the only thing I want to do is spill it on my skin. It's very explosive right now, so don't, uh, better not. Let me know when it changes color. It turned green. That shouldn't be happening. Try spitting in it. Now it's yellow. Oh, that should work. Quick, give me the flask. Cthulhu hands Baba Yaga the flask, which she then pours into the side of her hut. That should do it. My health should now have the brain of a chicken. Dot, dot, dot. It's not doing anything. Of course it's not doing anything. It's a hut. They don't do anything, but when we add chicken legs... 
How are you going to do that? Chop off some chicken legs and stick them in a growing potion? That's awful. Of course I'm not going to murder a chicken just to get some legs. I'm developing a potion that should transform tree roots into chicken legs, but I haven't gotten it working yet. I'm hoping that since the hunt now has a chicken brain, that mental energy will help to shape the legs into chicken legs. Mind over matter. Thanks for your help today, boss. Now what if I tried this? Did your egg hut just lay an egg? Cthulhu got a brown egg. This accessory for Baba Yaga generates chicken power each turn. Ooh, that could really help. Now it's Christmas Eve the 26th. Uh, let's see. Could see what the sharp tentacle does. Oh, we could get gold egg now if we do that. Yeah, let's see what sharp tentacle does. Let's go to the movies again. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies and grab ourselves a snack. Cthulhu decides to go back to the movie theater. I knew he'd be back or come back. Nothing good was on TV. Well, we're in for a treat today. It's a romantic comedy about an ornament designer and a young mall Santa who traveled through time. Seen it. Now you're thinking of the original. The remake just came out today. Let's get this over with. Cthulhu and Crystal watched the movie. That was not awful. What are you talking about? It was amazing. I love the scene where they have to hide in the closet from their future selves. It turns out that he bought, brought mistletoe. Or how about the scene where their kid from the future starts a chain reaction that wins them the luge race. Their luge race. I thought the original was better. Get with the times, you old fogey. The original wasn't even a color. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, one of my favorite movies is uh, the uh, uh, It's a Wonderful Life, and that's in black and white. Perhaps, but you have to admit that the tap dancing was very impressive for individuals with only two legs. Have you seen tap dancing with four legs? You don't want to know what I've seen. So many legs. So many shoes. I'll stick with my movies, thanks. As Cthulhu leaves the arena, he steps on something painful. Cthulhu got a sharp tentacle. This accessory for Cthulhu boosts his stats and taunts enemies. It is now Christmas Eve the 27th. Cthulhu wakes up to the sound of silence. The sound of silence. Cthulhu, it's horrible. Everybody's gone. It's a snowman's land out there. Not everybody. I'm still here. Why does she have cross eyed Why is she cross eyed Anyway. I mean, the NPCs, the townsfolk, they're all gone. Guess that's it for relationship building. And I was having so much fun having pointless conversations with losers. No, oh, there are plenty of pointless conversations yet in store for you. Photogon! It doesn't feel like this is an end game. This must be only a temporary setback. That sounds about right. The city feels so empty without the sound of carolers singing. We could meet our own carols? I really think we should stick to the time tested classics. I'll start. Chickens love Christmas. Chickens think to fuck, fuck, fuck Christmas. Fuck, fuck, fuck presents. Um. I'll go next. Toss out the candy. Look for the kids. When they grab the candy, you hit their shins. Please stop. My turn. Cthulhu, Cthulhu. We all love Cthulhu. He sleeps in relay, and when he awakes, our flesh will burn, and we will learn the joy of Christmas Day. What on earth did that have to do with Christmas? Joy of Christmas Day. Flesh burning. Cthulhu. How can I make this any clearer? I thought it was a neat song, boss. At least somebody appreciates quality music. Uh, I don't think anyone's coming to attack us today, so let's turn in early. Sleepy time. It's now Christmas Eve the 28th. Cthulhu wakes up feeling cold even for him, and Cthulhu always feels cold. I feel cold even for me, and I always feel cold. But that's what I just said. Don't steal my lines. The city streets are frozen over. The whole place reeks of death. The fifth league of Christmas Evil member must be out there somewhere waiting for us. But who could it be? Allow me to explain. Ah, oh, look, you're talking. In this dimension, chickens talk. A happy coincidence in an otherwise miserable world. This dimension? You have been brought to a pocket dimension that mirrors the world you know, but is emptier, darker, eviler. So Chicago, huh? And yes, a little chickenier. The people you know and love remain safe, but only if you're able to prevent this dimension from spilling into reality. How do we do that, Cluck Cluck? You must defeat the ruler of this world, Bell, before it grows too powerful for this dimension to contain. Bell must be the fourth member of the League of Christmas Evil. Bell is the world ender. He will read the note that will shatter existence if given the opportunity. Beware the killers in their song. Each accursed note that they chant grants Bell more and more strength. If Bell becomes too powerful, the world will be destroyed, and there's nothing anyone will be able to do to stop it. Now my watch, nobody destroys the world except me. Let's do this. Thank you for your help, Cluck Cluck. 
I'd like to serve a little, miss. All right, well, it looks like the carolers have sung, and the song is death. But will we die? Find out next time in the next episode of Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.